start this one off by saying I got a lot of black friends, okay? Most of them I got through playing football. They were my teammates. We've been to war together on the football field, loving to death. Now, with that being said, ever since I have had said friends, they have told me that I have a bad habit of putting them in white people positions. I do not fully understand what they mean, but they gave me the reference of, like, passing a cop on a two-lane road because he's going underneath the speed limit. Apparently, they ain't supposed to do that. It makes them nervous. Anyway, about a week ago, get a call from a buddy of mine. Play football together. Says, hey, buddy, I want you to come to a cookout. Hell, you ain't got to hit me in the face with a wet mop. I like cookout. So I show Wait, people up. say the stupidest shit. You don't got to hit me in the face with a wet mop. <laughs> I'm on my way. You hit me in the face with a wet mop. Hey, what? I like cookout. So I show up to the cookout. You've got company. Right. As I step out of my pick em up truck. My pick em up truck. I realize that the only three white things at this cookout is the salt shaker, the napkins, and, and the me. <laughs> All right. What about the plates? As I'm walking up, I am being greeted by his grandma and grandpa and his great grandma and grandpa and his 47 cousins all right which there's no way for me to remember all these people's names anyway there's 47 a long cousins table. Is crazy where the food's where the food everybody's eating at okay they bring me over and set me down at the head of the table yeah i'm already i'm already really uncomfortable at this point because i don't know what's about to happen <laughs> well they say the blessing and i get up to go fix my food well, I was not aware that at a black cookout, you do not fix your own plate. They fix your plate for you. Now, they bring me a whopping Dixie plate that some bitches rounded off like this <laughs> with barbecue. Okay? And I'm going to eat it. Don't get me wrong. I don't waste food. I'm going to eat it. So as I'm sitting there munching away, you know, just kind of getting my bearings about where I'm at, these two ladies walk up to me, two of his aunties. With two different thick. potato salads. They said, right. which one is better? <laughs> they said, we want to get your your opinion on which one of these is better. Now, apparently just because I'm white, I'm supposed to know the different calibers of mayonnaise. Well, I ain't going <laughs> to piss nobody off at this cookout. Okay? So I ate both of them, and I told them that they were just so damn good. Both of them, I, I couldn't pick one. Now, at this <laughs> current time, I am almost in a food coma because I've ate so much because I didn't want to disrespect nobody's cooking there. And then his great grandmama, Mama T, that's what they call her. Mama T is. She comes up to me with what looks like a five pound piece of cherry pie. Damn. Now, let me paint a picture for you. I've got the meat sweats. All right. That barbecue sauce on my shirt. I'm drifting in and out of consciousness. And she wants, she's bringing me a five pound piece of pie. Now, a five pound piece of pie. <laughs> I saw Friday after next. I know what happens when you disrespect somebody's grandmama. I saw what happened to Craig and Day Day when they disrespect somebody's grandmama. You ain't have, you ain't finna be chasing me through these pines because we way out in the woods at this cookout. I'm white, not stupid. So as I eat this pie, which I'm eating this pie, well, you got I ain't to off nobody, especially the head woman there because she ranked up top. That's great grandma. You don't mess with her. I finish this pie and I drift off into a Caucasian kycosis. That's not a, that's not a, this nigga think he's dying, he think he's a nigga, that's called a, what's that shit called, the itis, nigga, chat, he, yo, I, this whole time I'm thinking, like, why does he keep so much conscious, like, I get it, like, this nigga, it's the itis, nigga, that's all it is, it's the itis. Okay, food coma, <laughs> I did just like this right here, just like this, I went, whew, I'm full, as soon as I tipped my head back up, the table I'm sitting at is no more food on this table. I don't know how long I was out for. It got cards, but dominoes, somehow, what? I have, I'm still in the same chair. You I have been dealt into a high state space game at all black. <laughs> this nigga racist. <laughs> Bro, that did not happen. Nah, I probably have it. I can't lie. Cook out. <laughs> Man, nigga said, <laughs> nigga said, I fell asleep at the food table. I woke up. I got dealt into a space game. <laughs> Besides me, what the fuck is going on? How did I get here? At what point in my life did I take this turn to take me to where I'm at? And now the cards is in front of me, and I got no idea how to play spades, okay? None. And then when you say you don't know how to play spades, niggas look at you like you really special. Like, you don't know how to play spades? Like, I got no idea. All right, I'm white. We play go fish and cornhole. All what the we fuck did, is we cornhole? Got one day, 
literally did the whitest thing. Like, it, just think about it. If no one ever teach you how to play spades, nigga, why the fuck are you looking like... Niggas just expect you to look over niggas' shoulders and learn. Like, what the fuck? I got taught one time, and I played that one time, and then I forgot about it. Ever. Like, how am I supposed to remember, nigga? I never played that shit, nigga. I never played that shit again. Took possible, walked out in the field, got some corn. You still don't know how to play? Took our pocket knives and cut it off the I learned stone. once and All I right. don't remember. Put it in a bag, went over there, found some plywood in the shed, cut a hole in it, put it on an angle, and we tossed it at each other. That's what we do. I have no idea what, what space is. What the fuck he just said? So as they give me the run around idea, hey, what, what did we you do? Just say corn hole thing possible, walked out in All we did, we got bored one day. I'm so sick of farewells and R.I.P.S. I'm so sick of farewells and RPs. Gonna something gang gang my ties with our bleed. All right, I'm white. We play something something because niggas die from that disease. Go fish and cornhole. All we did, we got bored one day. Literally did the whitest thing possible. Walked out in the field, got some corn, took our pocket knives and cut it off the stalk. All right. Put it in a bag, went over there, found some plywood in the shed, cut a hole in it, put it on an angle. So y'all niggas just did mad extra shit, okay. And we toss it at each other. That's what we do. I have no idea what spades is. So as they give me the run around idea what the hell is going on with this spades game, I realize, I look at my hand and I realize that I probably got a pretty decent hand. Well, they asked me, they said, Zach, how many books you got? Which they had just explained this to me now. I'm talking about just now. <laughs> I said, it looks like I got eight books. Apparently, that is the wrong... <laughs> nigga said eight books. How the fuck is that possible, nigga? <laughs> wrong damn answer for your first hand of spades ever, because as soon as I said I got eight books, three Glock 9s hit the top of the table. <laughs> I've got every damn spade you could possibly have and three other aces. Well, as I survived that round, I go to get up, and one of his cousins come over and taps me on the shoulder and says, hey, buddy, you want to go throw bones? I don't know what they're talking about. Well, I ain't got dice? a shit and clue what they're talking about. But I ain't going to piss nobody off. You got to understand, at this point, I am in survival mode. I am not pissing not one person off at this cookout. I do whatever they tell me to do. If they want me to stand on my head and blow bubbles out of my ass, I will do it. Don't hurt me. Now, okay? this is... Is this racist, chat? Like, bro, this is racist. <laughs> now. Bro, I was watching Power... I was watching Power on Sunday, and this nigga Tariq went hunting with the all-white niggas. I'm like, bro, why the fuck are you going there? There's no reason for you to be going hunting with all-white people. As smart as your black ass is, why the fuck are you going? And then nigga try to boom. Nigga try to snipe his fucking head off. Like, like that's just common knowledge. What are you going out in the woods with fucking snipers and shit with white people? I did not know bones meant dice. Yeah, I nice. was leaning more toward dominoes, which I kind of knew how to play from the Elks Lodge. But apparently, the fuck is the Elks Lodge? bones means dice. I lost $36 so fast, my fucking head was <laughs> Okay? And <laughs> apparently, when they yell gator, that's just bad. a code word for the white man loses because they just took my money. And I just put some more down until I ran out of money. Which <laughs> is fine. Made it through that one, too. Now, as I'm slowly trying to make my way back to my truck yeah. i went over to thank mama t you know i think i thank my buddy i thank everybody on the way to my truck and i've got my truck in my sights i am boy and then you talk to a hundred more people zero in on my truck trying to leave this place now i get to my truck i put my hand on my truck to go open it and there's a like a sense of relief that comes over me like i didn't piss nobody off nothing went wrong i went whew, made it now as i open my door i feel a tap on my shoulder i turn around the whole damn cookout is behind me everybody there is right around my truck with mama t right there in the front and my buddy and he looked at me he said hey buddy next week's mama t's birthday you coming back and i looked at him <laughs> nah, and everybody watched <laughs> Yeah, Bam nigga. boozled on what to say. And the only thing I could come up with was, you damn right I'm coming back because that's the best damn barbecue I've ever yeah. had in my life. I don't know if you've ever been to yeah. All Black Cookout, but I'm going to tell you something. If you get the invitation, you better take that shit because that is the best food you ever going to get and the nicest damn people. I scared shitless. I ain't going to lie. I'm a big guy. 
I was acting like a little bitch. I didn't know what was happening. <laughs> I was but acting like a little same bitch. Time, <laughs> that's the most fun and some of the best people I've ever been around in my entire life. I'm going back next week. Bet. I told him, I said, y'all, y'all need me to bring something like some ice because I ain't trying to cook with y'all. Y'all, y'all want some ice <laughs> or like or like some uh? You want me to go get my little cousin Kyle to wear his monster hats and shit and bring him? You know, so he'll he'll feel at home. Is he got white beaters and stuff. Bro, I'm y'all, just trying to enjoy need? my day. They bro. told me I couldn't bring bro, nothing but myself, what me you and I. What you want my dick for? Which I will be there. I'm white, not stupid. Why are you being I'm weird to nobody me? Nobody else. Shit. Oh, 